My pleasure to welcome to the stage Richard Comey, Vasily Lomachenko. We are also joined by Ludabella, Bob Arum. Here we go. Richard, I'm going to start with you. Not all fighters get a second chance. And here we are. Madison Square Garden, biggest stage. How are we feeling? Oh, feeling good, very excited. And this is my second time coming here. Of course, uh, very excited to be sitting with Barbarian for the second time. I mean, he's dealt with a lot of champions in the history of boxing. He's part of the history of boxing when you talk of boxing. Yeah, yeah I'm very excited. The last time wasn't really didn't, uh, went to work great for me. So, uh, I mean, God being so good, I've got the opportunity to, I mean, right the wrong. That's it. Lou, I'm going to bring you in. Welcome to, the, welcome to the stage. Welcome to Madison Square Garden. It's an exciting weekend for you, I can imagine. It is. And it's, uh, you know, when you have a, a fighter as great as Loma, uh, who I think has the best footwork of anybody I've ever seen, basically in my lifetime, like literally that's how good I think your footwork is in the game. It's something people will remember for generations and one of the great fighters of his time. Richie's a good fighter. Richie's a great fighter. He's a champion. And when a guy like this gets in the ring with his punching power, his dedication, his ability, it's always dangerous. And it's, you know, Loma, you know this could be a real fight, man. This is going to be a real fight. And, and, and Richie has a shot the same way no one expected George Cambosis to come in and did what he did. You know, the world's sort of sleeping on Rich a little bit, but with his power, his length, his reach, I expect this to be a sensational fight. And I think that, you know, Rich is really live to pull off another uh, big surprise for the boxing fans. Um, but thank you, Loma, for giving Rich this opportunity. We appreciate it. Loma, I want to come to you. Madison Square Garden, you've had many, many, many memorable moments in this building. What does it mean to you to be here in December fighting again at the Garden? And we have a translator down front if you, if you need it as well. But I will try uh, yeah. speaking English. But I love it. Just in case. Yeah, yeah just, just in case. First of all, first of all, I want to say happy birthday, Bob. Wish you strong health. And, uh, yeah, uh, Madison Square Garden, it's a special place for me because uh, during my professional career, I had a lot of fights, a lot of memory fights uh, in my boxing career. And uh, it's an it's a honor for me. Uh, because it's a uh, uh, mecca of boxing, and I respect it. Uh, so I can wait. I can wait Saturday night. And thank you, Komi. You are, you are a strong fighter. I think we uh, uh, give a very interesting fight for fans. You talked about the footwork over here. Last night you had uh, the privilege of being honored by the New York Ranger hockey team. You love hockey. Yeah, I love hockey. It was my second time when I was in a uh, real game, hockey game. I very like it. It's very big energy. It's too, it's very, very too fast in the ice. Uh, they, they are uh, very, very smart and they are very speed and uh, um, athletes. Athletes. Yeah. yeah. Y so, you love the sport. Sorry. I get it. Let's let's dive in a little bit here, Loma. You spoke earlier in another interview about not overlooking your opponent Saturday night. When asked about other lightweights, and you know, there's a lot of conversation right now in the lightweight division, and you specifically said, I, I take it one fight at a time, and I'm not overlooking my opponent. What are his biggest strengths that you have to overcome on Saturday? Uh, I said before, he has a big power, he has a reach. And he has experience, uh, and uh, mm, he has a uh, big, big heart, heart, very hard. Richard, I want to come back to you. You know, I, I, I started the conversation off by saying not a lot of fighters get a second chance, and here we are. Not a lot of fighters have been able to solve Loma. Right. What are you going to do Saturday night? I mean, um, I've got the whole of my country behind me. I've got myself. And I got all the little children back home who really want to get to where I am. And I'm coming. I know it. it's not an easy fight, but I'm coming. Yeah. Your last win over Marinez, obviously that's a great bounce back win for you. How do you feel? Do you even think about the loss now that you've had this, this win under your belt with Marinez? Do you have the confidence back now to get back to the level that you need to be at to take on uh, Vasily Lomachenko? Well, I think uh, losing in boxing is one of, I mean, it's part of boxing and parcel of it. So 
regardless of how um, how you lose, how you lost, it's all about coming back. And uh, you know, what I mean, whatever happened with uh, Teofimo Fai, it is what it is. And I take it as a man. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I mean, my, in my mind, I need to come back, and I came back very strong. And I mean, there is a reason why uh, Loma chose me. The reason why I'm sitting right here. So it is what it is. Saturday, we're gonna see. It's such a an amazing response, and I commend you for that answer because we haven't heard answers like that from other fighters who have, have lost. And to have you say something like that in this environment is, is incredible, and I think it speaks volumes to who you are. So thank you for that type of answer. Bob, I want to come back to you really quick. What do you see? I, I hate to bring up the next step, but this is a huge marquee fight in this division. What's next after this fight for either of these fighters? First, as a promoter, I have to say that fighters or promoters shouldn't look at what's next because they should concentrate on what's before them. We saw that play out two weeks ago. Uh, but as a, a, a matter of the organizations, Loma is... Uh, the number one contender I, in the WBO and I think the WBC uh, and whoever wins this fight will occupy that spot and will end up to be a mandatory uh, for uh, whomever is the champion uh, when that mandatory position is called. So if you're looking at world titles, uh, that is, Saturday's fight is the path uh, to that position. Loma, any health issues? Completely 100% healthy right now? Yeah, sure. I'm ready. Now I'm ready <laughs> on 100%. Richard, what can we see Saturday night? What are we going to see out of the gate? Oh, uh, man, I'm coming. I, mean, I got my heart, my God, my everything, my team. You know what I mean? I'm coming. I'm coming to put up a good show. Your smile is he contagious. Just, he I'm just so mentioned glad his team, but I just want to acknowledge uh, manager Michael Bediaco, uh, advisor Keith Connolly, lawyer Neil Sibley, uh, trainer Andre Rogier. Um, Richie's ready. I mean, Andre, you know, Richie's ready. Andre got a plan. Richie's got a plan. We know uh, we're fighting an all time great, but uh, we're fighting him with a champion. So it, it's going to be a fun night. Loma, same question to you before we wrap it up today. How excited are you about Saturday night, and what can we expect out of the gate? I'm very excited because it's the next step of my uh, boxing career. And uh, like I said, it will be very, very interesting for fans fight. It's going to be fireworks, and I'm so excited for Saturday night, as is the entire boxing community. There's nothing better than Madison Square Garden in New York City in December. The energy outside is fantastic. This is boxing. This is top rank. And this is our main event. It goes down Saturday, December 11th here inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Here we go. Richard Comey, Vasily Lomachenko, a huge lightweight showdown. We'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins.